Hey everybody, what's going on? Brandon here, and today I'm going to talk about something that normally I wouldn't talk about on this channel with it being a gaming channel, but it just kind of rubbed me the wrong way. So I figured, you know what, I'm going to make a video about it because maybe some good could come out of this. Doubtful, but maybe it could. Um, this KSI versus Logan Paul thing. Uh, this is a joke. This, I cannot believe the amount of attention this is getting on the internet. I definitely cannot believe all the people that are buying it. For one, it looks staged. For two, neither one of these guys have any business whatsoever being in any kind of combat sports, especially not in this kind of stage that they're setting for themselves. Like, neither one of these guys have any any experience whatsoever. Um, and they're going to be making how much money off of this BS fight that it's that's probably fake? You know, you got uh, major boxing promoters, like, actually endorsing this. This is a joke. Neither one of them are even amateur level when it comes to fighting. Have, did you, if you've seen... KSI's fight against that Weller guy, whatever his name was. He, 20 ounce gloves, headgear, um, he lifts his back foot up every time he throws a straight. He doesn't rotate at all with his punches. He doesn't use head movement. His arms are down the whole time. His chin's out. I mean, seriously. And that's the experienced one out of the two of them. Logan has zero experience. KSI at least did it, sort of. This is ridiculous, and the fact is, they're making more money from this fight than a lot of UFC fighters are making. Um, they're making a lot more money than Bellator fighters are making, than boxers that are up and coming, and these are guys that train to do this every single day. These are guys that, you know, that's their job. Blood, sweat, and tears into fighting. I mean, and I did it for six years. I took martial arts long before that, and I still do martial arts now, and I still train now. And these guys, no experience, but because they've got a huge fan base now, they're going to make millions off this fight. And I think that's just stupid. Uh, I don't get why anybody would pay for a ticket to watch this. If I want to watch two losers that have no idea how to fight fight, I will go to the bar on a Friday night. Surely I'll see something close to what I'm going to see if I try to watch that fight. That's ridiculous. And if you're going to buy tickets to watch this... That, to me, just makes no sense whatsoever. Uh, these guys don't deserve the kind of attention they're getting for this. You know, now, Logan has his fan base. I can't stand the guy. He's part of the reason for the adpocalypse because the BS he pulled over in Japan. Um, so, he hurts a lot of creators, monetization-wise. His antics ruined a lot of possibilities, caused a whole bunch... I mean, I just now got monetized. Eight months is how long it took me to, and I have a good feeling... That because around that time, Logan did all that crap, that had a lot to do with why it took so long to get new creators monetized. So, he's already part of the problem with YouTube, and he's going to make how much money off this? He, I'm sure he's not donating it. I'm sure it's not for a good cause. This is just, he's doing something for no reason. He doesn't have to do it. And people are going to now pay out the ass to watch this idiot get into a ring and fight another guy with very, very little experience fighting. It's stupid. They don't deserve this kind of a platform. If you guys aren't supporting, you know, your local combat sports fighters, the guys that train every day to do this kind of stuff, don't be supporting these losers. They don't deserve it, for one. If they want to take the combat sports scene seriously and actually fight, they'd fight somebody with experience. They'd fight somebody that actually they want to show that they care about combat sports. This is a joke to combat sports. I've not met one fighter that's like, oh yeah, I'm totally excited for this fight. No, nobody's excited for it. I just We just saw CM Punk lose to another guy 0-1 in the UFC. That's an, a perfect example of the stuff you shouldn't do in this sport. You don't deserve that kind of attention if you are not good at what you're doing. You have to earn it. And neither one of these guys have earned any kind of respect in the, the fight game whatsoever. So... They shouldn't be fighting. I think it's laughable at best. Honestly, I just think this whole thing's a joke. Um, I didn't really script anything whenever I, I filmed this. I just, you know, this it, it's, it's aggravating. It really is, especially because I put a lot of time and energy to building a career when I was fighting. And yeah, I had a couple big fights, but that didn't have anything near what they're getting, and they have no experience whatsoever. So yeah, it's, it's a little aggravating. It's a little unnerving to see so much attention come to this because... I would gladly step into the ring with either one of those guys 
and donate my entire purse just for the fact that these guys don't deserve the attention they're getting and they wouldn't bother stepping into a ring or a cage with an actual fighter because then they would lose and then that wouldn't look good for publicity. At least since they both sucked at fighting, they either one have a chance at actually making a win out of this and making a bunch of money whether they win or lose. I think the whole thing's fake anyway. I don't even think there's going to be an actual winner or loser. I think the whole thing's staged. Neither one of them have any business being in there. But that's just my thoughts on it. I don't know. I was kind of mad, so I decided I wanted to film this and see what you guys thought. But, yeah, like I said, I'd gladly, if whoever wins this fight, I don't care if I've got 4,000 subscribers or if I've got 40 million by the time this whole fight thing's over, I would gladly fight either one of them and give my entire purse to charity just to shut them up because they do not deserve this attention. They don't, and it's stupid that they're getting it. See ya.